Change is constant. Because it affects people, we made these films for you. Let's take a word, any word. What does it mean? It doesn't mean much, all lonesome and shivering by itself, but string the right words together, add a few curlicues in the right places, and you can warn, define, predict, ask and answer, sell, enchant. In short, you can communicate. Time was when you could just take your own good time and putting one word after another. But in today's busy world, there seems to be less time to reach billions more people. So you need to really move those words to more people. Whether those people are customers, employees, scientists, subscribers, citizens, just about anyone you want to reach. And the newest, most efficient method of writing communication is a concept with the peculiar title of word processing a name we borrow literally from the German, Textverarbeitung. Now that's saying a mouthful. Okay, but before we go on, let's back up just a minute to communication. It's been around a long, long time. Man started first with grunts and gestures and then drawings. It must have been a real pain to stop mumbling and start swabbing pictures on a cave wall. Oh! It wasn't easy to switch from drawings to symbols. Oh. And who wanted to learn to use the stylus or pen? Oh. And think of those poor old monks. They probably had a holy fit when Gutenberg invented movable type. Oh. And certainly the first writing machine struck terror into the hearts of Spencerian scribes. Oh. Now, let's face it, change is as old as words and as old as mankind. And it's always a pain, but it's necessary. Now, in most instances, change has moved right along with civilization, and these ongoing changes have brought a better and a broader scope to business, science, and education, life itself. With growth and change has come more paperwork, bigger word loads, more memos, more reports, more proposals to dictate and type. But until recently, the way we handled those growing mountains of paperwork had not changed. Essentially, we handled it pretty much the same way Great Aunt Hattie did. Of course, there have been a few doodads, but for some reason, and no one knows quite why, technology has, for the most part, bypassed the office. So it's still like an old-fashioned Victorian family, life with father, complete with domestic servants. Bosses are still hemming and hawing on dictation. Secretaries are still typing, retyping, revising, erasing, getting coffee, and wrapping anniversary presents. Doing all those little gopher duties. Somehow, in this modern world with its pace, its demands for accuracy, and its sophistication, there's got to be a better way for millions of offices, millions of bosses, and millions of secretaries. And there is. A whole new dictating and typing technology is moving into the old-fashioned office. It speeds the flow of words and information. It improves accuracy and quality while it cuts the waste of executive and secretarial time. And it's called word processing. Today, word processing specialists and equipment often can produce four times as much work, print over 200 perfect lines a minute, memorize thousands of paragraphs and retrieve them at a moment's notice. Align those pesky decimal points, reset margins and format in an instant, correct whole pages with a touch of a button. And wonder of wonders, 
word processors will never have to erase again. Wow, sounds great. But what is word processing? Word processing is a way to transform ideas into written communication quickly and accurately through the use of automated equipment operated by skilled people using revised office procedures. People like you or me, or like Joanne here. At first, it sounds spooky, but as you learn more about it, you realize that it simply combines new procedures, new equipment, and newly trained people. Not just a bunch of expensive hardware spitting out words, 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 but a whole new structure of organization and support involving dictation, editing, revision, proofreading, storage, and retrieval, the creation of new documents from stored material, new human and working relationships, and new skill. In short, redesigning the office work, both typing and non-typing, for maximum productivity and satisfaction. So although word processing involves some fancy equipment, it starts with people. It can be as simple as Ada with her 10-year-old single station, or as comprehensive as this 53-station operation at First National Bank of Chicago, where the very office itself has been re-landscaped to accommodate the change. In short, word processing pushes out the horizons and organization and productivity of the office to keep pace with the modern world of change. Let's show you exactly how it works. Remember the old-fashioned office? Someone gets an idea and wants it put into the works, dictates it to a secretary who does the shorthand bit if she's not busy with something else. She types the material, erases, blots out with white gunk, takes it back to the boss, he revises it, she retypes it, he revises, she retypes, interruptions, etc. Until you look at any scholarly survey of traditional office methods, you find out that the average typist manages to plunk out four to six words per minute. Now, let's look at how word processing means shortcuts to save time and improve efficiency. The boss dictates, okay, by machine, or maybe by shorthand, or maybe, and this is happening more and more, right into a phone bank. Okay, this is what is called a text editing typewriter. As you can see, it has two parts. The part that looks like an electric typewriter with lots of extra keys. And this part is a console attached to the typewriter, which is where it all happens. OK, this console records everything I type on a magnetic card. Some use tape cartridges or cassettes. This recording device means I can always type at my fastest speed. Because if I make an error, all I have to do is backspace and type over the error. The mistake is automatically corrected on the tape or card. It works just like a tape recorder. Now, after I have everything I want typed, recorded on the tape, I put a letterhead or good paper into my machine. I push this button, and out comes a perfect copy at 180 words per minute. Look, no hands. See, you'd never guess where I made the mistake. Some machines have internal memories. Some machines use a display screen so you can see all your corrections. And some word processing equipment is hooked up to a computer. Of course, computers come in different sizes. A microcomputer like this, which stores and searches. Medium sized, like this installation at Blue Cross, which turns out as many as 4,000 personalized letters a day. Or a great big giant sized computer like the one that serves the 42 word processing stations in the Wisconsin state government. But essentially, all word processing machines do the same things. They let you do any amount of correcting and revising quickly without retyping the whole document, something you can never do on an ordinary typewriter. And they let you store the material you type so you can play it out again anytime you want. Or you can compose entirely new documents, legal documents, for instance, from the paragraphs and data you've stored. Applications, there are as many of them as there are businesses and professions. Word processing can be used in medicine, science, law, banking, accounting, sales, education, engineering, with word processing specialists doing two to three times the work of an ordinary secretary. What won't they think of next? 
They say we're going to have typing direct from the spoken word, electronic push-button mail. Word processing is not the last word of communication concepts. But for now, the name of modern communication is word processing, bringing technology and modern management ideas to the office.